What's up Royal fans and welcome back to another installment. Today's headline, Harry and Meghan urge people to acknowledge uncomfortable past. Harry and Meghan have appeared in a new video call to speak with young leaders as part of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, marking the first time they've been seen together in weeks. The video didn't come without some important talking points, with the purpose to shine a light on the Black Lives Matter movement, which has been prevalent and top of mind in recent months due to the George Floyd protests in the United States. In the video, Duchess said to call the attendees, we're going to have to be a little uncomfortable right now because it's only in pushing through that discomfort that we get to the other side of this and find the place where a high tide raises all ships. She continued, equality does not put anyone on the back foot. It puts us all on the same footing, which is a fundamental human right. Prince Harry also shared his thoughts in the video, saying when you look across the Commonwealth, there is no way we can move forward unless we acknowledge the past. He added, so many people have done such an incredible job of acknowledging the past and trying to right those wrongs, but I think we all acknowledge there is so much more still to do. It's not going to be easy and in some cases it's not going to be comfortable, but it needs to be done. Because guess what? Everybody benefits, he said. The video call took place on July 1st, which happened to be Harry's late mother, Princess Diana's 59th birthday. A previously released statement about the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, which is headed by Harry and Meghan, explained the work is does to support the Black Lives Matter movement. QCT has been running a weekly discussion with young people, looking at various forms of injustice on the experiences of young people today, the statement read. This is part of the Trust's wider work on considering historic injustice, which started in late 2019. The pair's discussion last week explored different things people can do in pursuit of justice, fairness, and equal rights. Megan added to this, explaining that it was important for people to know when to lead and when to listen. The Duke and Duchess have been keeping busy as the United States continues to battle the concurrent health pandemic which has seen parts of the country put into the lockdown. The pair have remained in isolation for a number of weeks before slowly beginning to emerge to help others in their local communities. Good job, Sussex clan. Good job. Guys, thank you for watching. That's all we have time for for today. As per usual, please don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for the latest updates and I'll see you tomorrow with the latest royal news. Goodbye for now.